Action. Uh, right, okay, so. Fuck. Just a, a quick recap. So we're going to have a go at writing down four numbers. Let's do 1.5 uh, minus 2. Uh, what else should we have? Minus 3.5 and 7. I'm just going to go. Okay, right. I need to give you a format, so let's have... Six bits for the mantissa and four bits for the exponent. Remember, the mantissa is the detail of the number. The exponent is the size, effectively. Okay? Same as, same as standard form, but we're just working in binary. Two's complement is what we're going to use to hold both the mantissa and the exponent. If the exam board change their mind, they have to say in the exam what they're using, but generally they stick to this complement. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one, 1 1.5. We start off and we write down a binary point, and then we know that's a positive 1.5. So what we do is we write down some integer values, enough so that we can put a sine bit of naught in. So sine bit of naught, and I want to write down 1. Okay, so that's the 1 part. Let's look at the fraction bit. Remember, as we go this way, we divide by 2 each time. So half is small. So we've got half, quarter, eighth, etc., etc. We want to write down 0.5, so we do that. Okay, that's our first step. What we've now got to do is normalise. We want to maximise precision, okay, of our numbers. Because we've only got a limited number of bits to record this number, so we want to maximise it. So that is wasted space. That leading note means nothing. We only want one leading note. So we just look from this end and we say, okay, we've got a positive number, look for the last zero. It's there. We want to move the binary point there. So we go one place. And we put the arrow on because we've now got two dots. And we need to know what the final one was. So we've now worked out what the mantissa is, so we can write that down. So the mantissa for this is 0 0.1100. We were told six bits, so we need to pad the right hand side with a zero. Okay, now we've got to work out the exponent. And the exponent just represents how far we moved the binary point. We've moved it one position. So the magnitude of the exponent is one. If we moved the binary point to the left, we need to put a positive exponent. So we're going to write down that for the exponent. Right. I'll go back into that. Right, carrying on. Sorry about the gap in the video. Right, okay, so what we've, what we've done, when we normalise this number, we've actually made it smaller. Okay, and now there's a trick here. If the number was bigger than 1, you will always end up with an exponent that is positive. Okay? So what we're saying is, actually, mate, when you read this number back, you've got to move the binary point to make the number bigger. So let's just read this number back to make sure we've converted it properly. So we look at the exponent first. So going from floating point to decimal, exponent first. We say, oh, it's plus one. Plus one means make the number bigger. And we make the number bigger by going that way. Now, if you forget this, test yourself. If you've got 1.76, if you move the binary point this way, what number do you get? Yeah. It gets bigger. So just... the. You know, I would find it amusing as an examiner to find lots of like little decimal checks in the uh, on the 
But I would say, yeah, well done. You're checking. So if you forget, just go back to decimal and do that. So we're saying, yeah, okay, let's move it, the binary point, that way. Again, put the arrow on so that you're indicating to the examiner that you know you will get marks for putting the binary point in the right place. And they'll need to see some evidence of how the hell you did it. If you, if you do that, what do you think they're going to do? Oh, he's obviously made the second binary point bigger. No. They're going to go, no marks. So always indicate that you've done that by putting your arrow on. If you want to turn it into a face, fine. It's up to you. Okay. Once we've done that, we can put our column headings in. And we can read it back. And we can see it's 1.5. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the next one. So that's minus 2. Right, okay, minus 2. Two problems here is minus. So we've got that to deal with. So let's just write down 2. So let's put our binary point in. Um, I'll put some fractions in, but it's an integer, so we haven't got to worry about that at the moment. So let's put some in. Some integer positions. And let's write down what 2 is. So... I'm writing down plus 2 because I want negative 2. So I have to put the sign bit in as 0. A few of you made the mistakes when you did these. Is they went, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to do flip and add. But you went, ended up putting the sign bit of 1. Okay, so don't do that. Always put that in. I'm putting positive 2 in. Do 2's complement. So flip, flip. That is the last one. So make that a 1. Everything else write down as a 0. So that is minus 2 in our fixed format here, but we need to normalise. Right, it's the sign bit that matters. This is a negative number, so you can see we've got a load of leading ones. And just like when we said, that's minus 1. That's minus 1. The number of ones at the left-hand edge is irrelevant. We only want 1. Okay, so it's the same process. Look for the last value of the sign bit which is there so we're going to move the binary point to there to normalize this so we've got our mantissa so these we don't worry about we're maximizing precision so one point no 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 we need six bits so we pad the right hand side with zeros always pad the right hand side with zeros so that's my mantissa i'll get a couple of marks for getting that now I've got to work out the exponent. I know the magnitude is 1. And again, I went that way. That was bigger than 1. So it's going to be positive. You'll never get any crazy exponents in the exam. They'll always end up being like 1, 2, 3, or minus 1, 2, 3. Because it gets too messy really quick. They'll always be very short exponents, generally. Okay. Let's read it back. So we start when we're reading back with the exponent. We say, okay, it's plus one. This value is going to get bigger. So the binary point is going to come this way to make it bigger. So I go one position. And then I read this off and I go one, two, that's half, quarter. They're irrelevant because there's nothing there currently. Right, it's a negative number though, so I need to flip and add. So I go uh, flip, but it's the last one as well, isn't it? Okay. So I leave it as a one. Uh, so that's no point, no, 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 no. Any, anyone got a problem with the answer there? What can you tell me about that number? Adam, you're the expert at this. It's negative. Yeah. We just did flipping add and it's negative. If you've got a normalised number that is one point blah, 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 if you try and flip an addict, it won't work. Okay? What we need to do to make this work is to sign extend. And that basically means just put some ones in. They're all going to disappear anyway, but it'll make the calculation work. So I do sign extension. You don't have to do this with zeros because they're just zeros. Right, so if I do my flip and add now, I get no, no, no. Oh, that's the last one. 
No, point, no, 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 it's not. Ah, these two. Okay. You have to be careful. The other one was correct. If I had that, and I said, <coughs> that's uh, a two's complement number, it's the biggest two's complement negative number with two bits, but it can confuse you. Okay, so it's always best, if you've ever got that, just put a few ones. You can do the same with the positive numbers and put some zeros at the front. Doesn't matter. Okay, is all right with that, everyone? Okay, 3.5, negative. So again, we can't write minus 3.5, so we're going to put binary point in, and we're going to write down 3.5 and do two's complement. So let's put some columns in. Uh, we're going to need some fraction ones this time. Right, so I'm going to write down positive number 3.5. Do two's complement to get negative 3.5. So flip, 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 flip. That's the last one. So keep that as a one. Everything else just write down as it was. So that gives me 3.5. I've got to normalize it. So look for the sign bit. The last one is there. It's a negative number, so it's going to be a 1 we're looking for. So we're going to move the binary point one place, two places. And we drop it there. So my mantissa is 1.0010. It's got to be 6 bits, so I need to pad with a 0. Pad on the right with naught. Pad on the left with the sign bit. Okay. Right, so working out the exponent, magnitude is 2. We went that way, so we've made the number smaller. You can see it's bigger than 1 again. So it's going to be positive 2. Okay, let's read this one back. I can see it's a negative, so it might cause me problems. So I'm just going to pad it with a load of sign bits. Just for a laugh. Okay, right, so reading back, always start with the exponent. We can see it is plus 2, so we're going to make this bigger. So the binary point to make it bigger needs to travel that way. It's a negative number, I can do the, I can either put the columns on or I can do the flipping first. I'll do the flipping first. So I'm going to flip, 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 flip. That is the last one. Make that a 1, 0, 0. That's where the binary point had ended up after the move. So that's the 1, 2, 4. Yeah, no point in carrying going on. Half, quarter. So you can see it's 3.5. But it was negative. So don't forget that that's what it was. Okay, and then 7. What's interesting about this, this shows you that you can store integers in floating point format. And we'll want to do that if we're dealing with very, very, very large integers. With a 32-bit to its complement value, we can only go up to 2 billion. Which might be alright if you're counting students in a school. But if you're counting how many uh, Rice Krispie puffs are in a big silo, God, I can't imagine. That'd be awesome, mate. Can you imagine drowning in Rice Krispies? In a silo of Rice Krispies? Or would you drown in some Rice Krispies? Because they've all got little air in, haven't they? You might suffocate when they, like, go in there. If you can, like, go like that, maybe you could breathe long enough. The dust might get you, though. There's a lot of dust. Have you ever got to the bottom of a Rice Krispie packet? I'm doing this on my video, aren't I? Oh, I don't care. Right, okay. So, you might use your integers in floating point format for very large integers. Okay, so we're going to write down 7. So we're going to put a binary point down. Put enough columns in so that you can write down the sign properly. So this is positive. So 7 looks like that. For the for a laugh, I'll just put a, a half in there with nothing. Okay, just to do it. I've got to normalize. So I'll look for my sign bit. It's the zeros because it's positive. That's the last one. Move the binary point one, two, three. So my mantissa is 0 0.1110. I need an extra bit, so I'll pad it. So that's my mantissa sorted. 
The exponent, I moved it three, so it's magnitude three. But again, I made the number smaller, so it has to be positive three. Okay. Going back, let's read this back into decimal. Let's do what I just did with the uh, negative one. Let's just pad the sign bit out. Okay. And let's flip. Oh, no, I don't need to flip, do I? I've been an idiot. Made, made the mistake. Classic mistake. Two's complement. Got two's complement in my head. Oh, two's complement. Flip. No. Look at the sign bit first. Okay. Right. So look at the exponent. It's three plus three. You'll get a mark for identifying that. Showing that you can actually read a number, basically. Okay. If you then, because they like to give you method marks for these questions, if you then make a mistake, but you did the right thing, you shifted the binary thing, but you read it wrong, you'll still get a couple of marks. Okay, so really important. So we're going to go this way. So it's one, two, three. And you can see, once we've found out where the point is, we've got plus seven. Okay, so that was just a quick recap. Um, I'll just stop the video. I've got to run up the computer to do that, so I'm now going to prattle off camera.